Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Uh, we're out here in our pea patch. This is the pink-eyed purple hole. Now, the pink-eyed purple hole is a little bit different than the red ripper. Now, even though it's in the cow pea family, it's completely different. It's a close cousin to the black-eyed pea. Uh, the black-eyed pea has a little bit better taste than the pink-eyed purple hole does. Uh, so that's the reason you see more of the black-eyed peas in the stores. You don't see any of the pink-eyed purple hull. And most of our northern friends have no clue about the pink-eyed purple hull because it's predominantly a southern pea that just doesn't get talked about that much. Um, it ranges anywhere between 12 and 14 peas per pod, where the Red Ripper is almost consistently 18 peas per pod. And they're a lot larger in diameter. We're going to show you in just a few minutes the difference between the Red Ripper pea and the Purple Hole pea. Because lots of people kept saying, well, the Purple Hole pea, the pink-eyed one, that's a black-eyed pea. Well, no, it's not a black-eyed pea, but it's a close cousin to the black-eyed pea. So uh, most of our cow peas, like the, the Crowders, the, the Purple Holes, the Red Rippers, and all those, they originated in Africa, came to the United States in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and were predominantly used in the South for forage. There was a period in time where the government would actually, and I mentioned this in one of my other videos, would pay farmers to actually plant these on their land so that the roots give off nitrogen into the soil where it would build the soil on the farm. So that's back... <laughs> Like I talked about in my other video, where the government actually cared about their farmland and, and, and the people who had farmland. But today, this is just mostly a southern pea that's planted and enjoyed by southern gardeners uh, because it requires extremely hot temperatures to produce and do well. It doesn't do well when it's wet and rainy. It doesn't do well when it's cold or anything like that. So it's predominantly a warm pea and like I said it was mainly used for forage for livestock for many many years so I'm going to show you some pictures of the differences between the pink eye purple hull and the red rippers Okay guys, after showing you the difference between the two peas, and even though they're both south, uh, southern cow peas, um, I hope that you've enjoyed the differences and seeing some of the similarities between them. And as you can see, we're going to have our hands full of picking a lot of peas here, so thank you from Deep South Homestead.